Okay, what's going on there, YouTube? So, what we're doing today, we're on a ride. It is November, what, 14th or 15th? Something like that. 15th. So, we're out going to meet our buddy Lee, maybe Kim. We're not sure. She's a sleeper. So. But, uh, yeah, it is a 72-ish, 73 degrees in the middle of November, so all of you folks that watch me from Michigan, Pennsylvania, sorry, Mr. Bodine 52 and Harley Day Rider. It's warm here. So what I'm going to do with this video is we're going to compare the audio quality between the Senna 20, what do I have, the 20S and the Senna MP10 backpack versus the GoPro 9 with a media mod and an internal mic. So the internal mic I have, I believe it's a Sony. I'll put it, when I get home I'll look it up. I forgot to look before I left. So anyway. So we'll just be talking. Unfortunately you won't hear Mrs. 1800 because you only hear her on the 20S with the backpack. That is one of the big drawbacks of having the media mod. Is you can only hear me talk and I know you don't come just for me. Sometimes I'm surprised you come at all. But well, first off, where have you been, Pete? It's, uh, yeah, this isn't my full-time job. This is my hobby. I enjoy doing it. And, uh, so, you know, but I like to also put videos out instead of just me rambling on, but it might actually be useful for you. So, I mean, there's a million... There's a million uh, reviews of the Hero 9 and all that stuff and, you know, how to set it up. This is more for you as a motor vlogger um, with the media mod. How does it sound? Is it something you might want to switch to? I mean, I'm doing this video. I have no idea. I won't know until I get back on what the, the media mod sounds like. So, we'll have to experiment together. Right now I'm talking with the uh, the media mod, and then we're doing about 40. I just got to remember to be able to switch the audio back and forth. This is going to be fun syncing this video up. But, uh, the GoPro 9 is pretty nice, and the battery is a lot bigger. I've noticed uh, just on some trial runs that uh, it does last longer, uh, from my perspective. I do shoot at 1080p with this one, um, because it's fine for YouTube uh, and I only usually shoot 4k when I'm going to be doing some heavy editing like I want to crop into things without losing resolution I mean that's the prime reason why you shoot 4k anyway it's not for oh I'm gonna upload this content it's gonna be super duper um, you do it so you can edit better uh, you can crop in you can get rid of like if you're shaky a lot of movement in the camera you can get rid of some of that with software uh, with stability but Quite honestly, I'm wondering how the uh, audio sounds. There's a plane coming in. Yeah. So I don't think I've done a video in a few weeks. To be honest with you. I did go up to Biketoberfest. Um, I did shoot some video for that, but... Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to take a break. I think yeah, a lot of YouTubers, you're going to find that you're going to have to take a break. So now I'm switching to the... I'm going to switch the audio quality over to the Hero 4 with the backpack. So anyway... Um, what are you uh, So I know where to switch the audio because um, right now I was uh, doing the audio on the new one the Hero 9 oh. and it's inside like I have a wire inside my helmet but when I switch to this one so that way I can compare the audio later when I'm editing it'll just make it easier for me to find 
so that way it's not uh, all jumbled around. The nice thing is when we use the Hero 4 with the Senna backpack, Bluetooth backpack, you can hear Mrs. 1800. So it's always exciting. She enjoys being on camera. Huh. <laughs> Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Well, you actually, um, yeah, well, it's a lot of us do the moto vlogs, but you never hear the, uh, you know, the passenger's point of view, and so it's it's important to hear that. I mean, like especially when you're riding a new bike. actually want some uh, different comparison of you know what you think not just what I think yeah but we're just rambling on about the, this thing yeah. yeah the nice thing is though now I got the hero 7 and I can put that somewhere else to get a third camera view if I really feel like doing some editing which is a possibility. So that's the thing you got to remember, guys. The uh, more cameras you get, the more editing you got to do, and the more time it takes. My early vlogs were with this. And I had the pigtail and an internal mic. It worked great. Super simple to, uh, to edit. So um, that would be my advice. If you're just starting out vlogging, don't go bananas with cameras and gear and all that keep it simple till you figure out what you're doing like with the with the hero 9 you can do the media mod in an internal mic you got one view but it's easier to edit it's just uh, hopefully the audio quality is good we'll find out that together when I edit this thing together um, you know one of the things you're kind of probably hearing is a wind noise and that's coming from her mic um, Yeah. Well, you have to anyway because that's just the way it works. I mean, it's editing is the hardest part of this whole gig. You know, especially the audio. I mean, the video. It's funny since are you wear a full face helmet, guys. Um, you. <laughs> You can basically, unless people see your hands move around, you can basically edit however you want because nobody knows when you're talking because they don't see your face, you know. But when you use a two-camera system like I do with one coming back on me just so it gives you, you know, something better to look at once in a while, you know, a different view. Um... Yeah, pretty much. It's a lot easier. But when you're editing two cameras together with two different audio files, it gets to be a real pip. But anyway, we'll uh, get back, see how this stuff looks. Boy, what a beautiful day, huh? Yeah. Blue skies. Oh. What's that? chilly yes that's right gentlemen it's chilly I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry. water is nice and calm and flat today so this is at 70 miles an hour with the uh, I'll switch back to the heroes 9 so now you're listening to the hero 9 audio quality going to 70 miles an hour across the bridge face shield down this is the face shield up Let's see how that sounds when we're uh, going up over the bridge. Yes, uh, we do live in a beautiful place, that is for sure. So. But, uh, trying to get to about 10, 20 minutes here. Oh. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys are watching this video and it's snowing at your house. It's hard to believe that Thanksgiving is in two weeks away, isn't it? Oh, 
All right then, where were we? So I got back, edited everything, and uh, I decided, what the heck, I might as well jump on the BMW and see what that sounds like with just the, uh, just doing the uh, Hero 9 on this. Um, but uh, see what the wind quality is like. But I, one thing I will have to say is, overall, I like the uh, mod, the media mod of the GoPro 9 set up a lot more than the Senna. Um, the sound quality is a lot better, and it's a lot easier to uh, play with. Uh, there's just more volume in it. I don't feel like I have to... Um, yeah, bring the, bring my uh, audio tracks up higher. Um, cause say, like I do with the... Um, well, I'm saying I'm a lot... With the Senna, I have to always increase my volume by up to about 150 to 175 percent of what it is coming out of the camera, um, simply because it's just not loud enough, and it makes it very kind of hard sometimes because you get a lot of noise in it. And the one thing I like about this too, which you'll probably notice, is the background noise. You can actually hear the bike and you can hear some of the wind noise. You know, I can play with that and bring some of it out. Which I probably will with this one especially. But the audio quality is so much better with this setup than with the Senna. Um, so this is going to be my go-to. Plus I can jump on the BMW camera on helmet. Boom. Done. Uh, I don't have to hook the other camera up. I don't have to do a lot of other things. So it makes it a lot easier to do your final product, which is important. I mean, editing takes just as long. You know, yesterday I played around editing for an hour, bringing this audio level up, bringing this one down so I could compare the two, um, syncing everything. And I was saying in, earlier is if you are just starting out, yeah, this might be the way to go. I mean, the uh, uh, Hero 9 with the uh, with the media mod is pretty cool. Uh, it works pretty good. I mean, I have the Hero 7 and I bought the uh, audio dongle thing and let's face it, that thing is just a blippity blippity blip. I won't even say it. That thing is just useless because it's too big. It uh, really... It's just, I don't like it. Uh, it works good, but I don't like it because it just adds some more stuff to the camera. Uh, or this just goes nicely around the camera. I really like it. Um, do I wish it was waterproof? That would be fantastic. That's something GoPro can get on and make this thing a little bit more water resistant. Not to be waterproof, but I mean, the water resistant would be good. Um, I haven't had that in a while. I think I'll go there. So, so anyway, why don't you guys uh, comment below? Tell me what you think of the audio. Um, and boy, how many times I said um, you can start drinking. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what you guys think of the audio quality between the two be sure to click that like button click that subscribe button and uh, I want to thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys on the other side bye